Okay everybody, if you followed the last ATV ride, we came down from the back of the house down a 10 by 10 trail down to a woodlot area. We are now going up to the crossroads and then to the rest. I've got a beer ready for sitting there. So off we go. And now one of the rides is going to be up that trail there. That heads out to the north boundary. We're going to go up there on another trip. This is going up to the crossroads. One of the trails that was blocked with a blown over tree, Scott and I took it out. Right about here. I do believe we've got one more tree to come out that's down up here a bit on the right. Well, yep, there's a mass there that can come. Yep. at the crossroads now. Okay, this is what we call the crossroads. Another ride's going to be straight down that trail. That goes over to the east boundary. There's a swamp and all that down there. It sort of levels out and it's swampy, sort of half clear cut, but it's a pretty dense trail to hack through. And then if we go left, on another one of your rides, that trail there goes right up to what we call the top of the world. 1,015 feet above sea level, that's going to be another ride. So right now we're, we're taking this turn here and going up to the rest. pretty dense up here and we'll probably stop and check the blueberries out up at the blueberry area see how many flowers we got but lots of black fire this year so blueberry should be looking good oops just about ran over there eh Stop here. I'm going to stop here, and this is where Linda's mum's ashes were thrown. Bill made that sign, it's been up there a wee while now. And we planted a wee garden there last year. Hmm, might be coming, I don't know. And then this is basically the view you get from the rest. A wee place for us to sit. And the property goes right over past that uh, swamp over yonder. You can just make out the water and all that. And that tree line over there. 
that uh, the west boundary is over there. And it's pretty dense to look at, but I can see the one of the beaver dams down yonder in the ponds, pretty full. That'll be another ride. So that's basically us up at the rest, and I'm now going to have a rest. I'll go and grab the beer. I think Linda's going to play with her fancy new Canon digital Scottish camera. Do some practice. She can take about four and a half thousand images with it. Thirty thousand. Thirty thousand. Sorry, guys, I was wrong. Underestimated. So there we go. We're going to sit here and have a beer. Okay, I'm going to shut down and I'll start it up when we've finished the last piece of the trail back to the house. 10 4. Right, continuing with the journey, we've had our beer break. Linda's going to walk down this little hill here. She's going to look for the a, a rare flower called a lady slipper. We spotted them down here last spring. Is that out there? Member of the orchid family. Yeah. And it looks as though it's uh, dead though, eh? Uh, it's past its prime. Past its prime, yep. But they are very rare. And they don't transplant very well. Getting on or you're walking? No, I'm going to get on. Now, if we had been about two or three days early, earlier, that, those flowers would have been lovely and full bloom. There have been times when there have been a whole row of them here. I hope yeah. more than just that one. Yeah. You right? Yeah. Come on, Ellie, move. Good, ghetto. Up, move. Up, move, move, move. I wish this camera had smell a vision. It smells yeah. lovely right now. Oh, there's a blueberry patch in there. We've always been lucky. Don't ask Linda to go into that corner over there, though. Yellow jacket nest. Right at that tree. So we'll have to keep an eye on these, see how the blueberries come. Come on, Ali. Move. little corner to get through. You've got to get your angle of the dangle just right. Climb over that rock a bit. Spin the back end around and then we're done it. So we'll 
coming down out of the hill up behind the house. Linda's east lane runs at an angle right up, right away up there. Can you just see the house down there? Yep. Yep, you can just make it out down through the trees there, eh? In the brown structure. A couple of trees out of this area last year. And here we are on the last little hill down to the front yard. Pretty steep as you can see. That's where I'm going. I'm going to have a shandy this time, not a straight beer. There's the old tractor in there, the truck, all loaded, ready for the next farmer's market show. So, till next ATV ride. Take care of it. Hey!